Hello, so this is Jazzy Ray here and I'm back for another reading. Um, today I'm going to be reading for Alexis. Um, so, um, before I get into it, if you would like a free reading, this is the last week I'm accepting free readings. So next week if you hit me up talking about a free reading, you're going to have to pay for it. So, um, I will post prices later on during the week, so don't worry about that too much. Um, anyway, let's get right into it. Now, before I even show you your birth chart, Alexis, you already know what your birth chart is, but I'm going to show it to you again just so you, you know. Now, given your age, because you did hit me up saying how you wanted me to focus on love, and I'm going to help you with that, but because of your age, I'm not going to go so deep into it. You know, but I am going to talk about it for you, okay? So, I'm going to show you. This is you. So, your sun, you know, I mean, I'll go over it. So, your sun is Aquarius, your moon is Leo, your Mercury is also Aquarius, your Venus is Pisces, your Mars is Taurus, and your Scorpio, I mean, your Scorpio with the Ascendant sign right there. And if you go over here... Your masculine energy is five and your feminine is five. So now your your chart is different. Like this whole video will be different because you already did your chart. But I'm just gonna explain it for you. So your sun is Aquarius. Your sun sign is who you are, it's your personality. It's a masculine sign. Its element is air, and it's a fixed sign. So, fixed quality. That's what I meant to say. Your quality is fixed. So, signs with fixed quality is Aquarius, Leo, let me think, Scorpio, and Taurus. So, to be fixed just means you're set in your ways. In fact, doing your chart, except for Venus, all your signs are fixed. So you know what you want out of life. You know what you want when you fall in love. Or at least you should know what you want when you fall in love. And um, But not even that because your, your Venus is Pisces. So you, you may not know exactly what you want. But when you get it, when you fall in love and you find that person, you know what you want. Because your Mars is Taurus. So, but I'm going to explain that, okay? So fix just means you know what you want. You know, there's no, you have a plan. You have a plan and you don't skew away from the plan unless you want to. Okay? It's hard for fixed quality, like the, the it's hard for signs with that quality to adapt. Okay. Mutable is the opposite of that. So it's easy for mutable quality to adapt to things. They may not necessarily know what they want. Um, mutable sign like signs who have the mutable quality by the way is Gemini Pisces Virgo and Sagittarius so these signs tend to dip dibble and dabble in pretty much everything and they have a plan they don't really have a plan they kind of just wing everything they do <laughs> so it's definitely the opposite of fix and cardinal quality signs with that quality is Aries Capricorn Cancer and Libra now they have a plan but they're gonna like really go in like they they about action so they'll put like they'll work they'll go like they have a plan they'll do what they plan on doing but they'll put like extra oh excuse me extra hard work into it you know they're all about the action so the best example i can use is say you have a paper you have three copies you gotta write right so you've got the rough draft second draft final draft so the first draft you don't know what you're going to write. So you kind of just jot everything down. Jot everything down hoping you come up with something. That's mutable. That's mutable quality. Then you have the second draft where you pick a topic. You know what you want to write about and you write the second draft. So, that's fixed. Now you could turn in that copy but you may not get, you might get a de decent grade but you're not going to get a good grade. So, that's when the last, you got the final copy and you, you take out things that, shouldn't be in the paper you put in things that should be in the paper you know you put your hard work into the paper your final paper so you can get an A so that will be cardinal okay hope that explains it that's the best way I can explain it 
Um, so it's polar opposite is Leo and they say when it comes to love, you're supposed to date your polar opposite. I do not know if that's true or not. I've tried doing it with me and that doesn't, it doesn't seem to work out. So it could work out for you, possibly not, I don't know. And it's planet is Uranus. That's funny. <laughs> um... So what can I say about Aquarius? So Aquariuses are very different. They're quirky. They're intelligent. Very smart. They're into computers, and they want. They're into computers because it's like they want to change the world using like technology, and you know they want to better the world, you know, and things like that. Uh, Aquariuses they can be argumentative at times, so. Which I'll get into that when I'm talking about the Mercury. So, um, Aquariuses tend to act like everyone else around people that they don't know. But then once they meet somebody and, you know, that, that really kind of just makes them feel comfortable, then they will show their quirky selves, you know. Because Capricorn, I mean not Capricorns, Aquariuses, like I said, they're, they're different. You know, they're different. They're pretty much into everything really into the arts they're into technology they're really into technology my brother is an, is an aquarius and all he does is play video games and then he's into into the computer all day that's all he do uh, that's all, all he does all day so you probably are not like that but you probably you probably on your phone a lot you know playing stuff or you're into social media and stuff like that so that's aquarius <laughs> that's aquarius um, now this may not apply to you. I just noticed in some Aquarians that Aquariuses have a hard time showing their emotions. So, like, you never know when an Aquarius is mad or happy because they just have no expression on the face. Like, like Aquariuses definitely rest in bee face all day. So, that doesn't have to apply to you, though, but I just made an observation with Aquariuses. Um, so your moon is Leo, which is, that's your polar opposite. So that's interesting. Um, moon is your emotions, which means you're very passionate with your emotions. So Leo is a masculine sign. It's fire, it's elements fire, passionate, like I just said. Um, it's also fixed. And I just said that Aquarius is your polar opposite. So Leos are like, their planet is the, it's the sun. So what the sun do sun lights up everything it, it gives us light and it gives us life without sun we'll die so leo is the life of the party leo leo is is the is the light that shines in the room you know so when it comes to emotions leos are very passionate about their emotions don't i'm gonna tell you right now People don't want to mess with you when you're angry or when you're upset. Because Leo wants to be heard. Leo doesn't want people interrupting them when they're in the moment. Because they're always in the moment. Spotlight. They're always in the moment. So what I can say about you is you're probably somebody who, when you're, when you're upset about something or when you have strong feelings about something, you want to be heard. You don't want people interrupting you. You, don't even, you just want to be heard. And, and, and if somebody attacks that, you're a pride because you're, Leo's are prideful. So if somebody attacks your, you know, they make you, they belittle you because you're emotional or you feel strongly about something, that's going to really offend you and you, you don't play. You're probably going to go crazy after that. So, yeah, that's, I hope that kind of, you know, I hope that explains it well. So now let's get to Mercury, which is Aquarius. Okay, um, Mercury is the plan of communication, which I want to get into that. Um, so Aquarius, they love to communicate. It's an air sign, so they love to communicate. Um, so they like to talk about bettering the world and electronics and just just what they know. Because Aquarius is, is, is like supposed to be the most intelligent of all the zodiac signs. So, 
I want to get into the arguing for a second or debating because Aquarius is going to be petty when it comes to arguing and stuff like that. Because Aquarius is supposed to be the most intelligent. So they will purposely start arguments or debates just to prove how dumb somebody is. <laughs> you know, like if they met, they match, then it's like, oh, okay, all right. And they probably become friends after that, you know, if you have a debate and the other person actually knows what they're talking about and things like that. But if a person doesn't know what they're talking about, it's like Aquarius loves that because Aquarius just likes to prove how dumb people are. <laughs> they do. They do. Um, so that's the that's pretty much all I could say about Mercury and Aquarius. You know. They like to talk about, like I said, bettering the world, humanitarian stuff and peace and all that. But they do like to start arguments just to prove how dumb how dumb someone really is so troll Aquarius just love the troll okay actually all air signs love the troll all of them but Aquarius gotta be like the best one the best troller okay because they start arguments to prove how stupid you are Gemini's just throw shade and Libra uh, I gotta figure that one out <laughs> I gotta figure that one out it's like they just like to make people angry I guess I don't know but but Gemini's like to throw shade and, uh, goddamn, Aquarius is love to start arguments. So, alright. So, your Venus is Pisces. Now, you wanted to know about love. So, what I noticed is that your Venus is Pisces and your Mars is Taurus, which tells me that you are a very sensual person who loves love. So, your Venus is Pisces. Venus is what attracts us and how we want to be loved and how we love. So, Venus... Is Pisces it is a feminine sign it's elements water and it's mutable which means when it comes to love when it comes to what attracts you you not you're not really sure what attracts you like it's whatever attracts you at that moment I guess um, it's polar opposites Virgo and its planet is Neptune and Neptune is the planet of mystery and fantasies and things like that so Pisces Hmm. Pisces are very sensitive and very emotional. Um, so what attracts a Pisces is a good heart. A good heart and not being scared to, to show emotions. Um, I hope you can hear me. But that's that's Pisces. Pisces are just caring people. So they, they're attracted to someone who's caring, who's loving, and, and who's not afraid to be emotional and things like that. But you've got to be careful. Because Pisces sometimes believes in the fantasy world and they they can't see the reality of the situation. Like these are the type of, sometimes Pisces or if you have Pisces in your chart, they are like the type of people that will be in a bad situation. But because of how a person looks or other things, <laughs> I'm trying to watch my words here. Um... They tend to see the reality. They tend to not see the reality of the situation. So, I would say date somebody who can kind of help you snap out of that fantasy life. You know, because they these are the type of people who are like into the future so much that they end up catching feelings when really they should just stay in the moment and let the feelings come naturally. Because that's where people mess up. Now, your Mars is Taurus. Me and you have the same Mars. So. Tar Taurus is a feminine sign. It's elements Earth. It is a fixed sign. So when it comes to how how you do things, you know how you do them. So your polar is Scorpio. Okay, and Venus is the planet of Taurus. And like I said, Venus is the planet of love. Mars represents aggression, sex, and just action. You know. So when you when you want to know how you are when it comes to love, you want to look at Venus, Moon, Mars. Okay, those are the two that you want to look at. I kind of I explained your Moon. Now I'm gonna explain explain Mars. So I want to talk about your work ethic first, because that counts. Um, Taurus has a great work ethic. They may be a little slow, but they believe in patience. But they know what they want to do and they they excel as long as they put time into it. Like 
Taurus is the type of person, the type of sign that will write a book. You know, it may take two years to write the book, but they're still going to get that book published. So, you're probably a hard worker, but you take your time. You're not rushing. You're taking your time. Your anger. Again, Taurus, slow to react. Not saying they don't get angry because if on sign, if on site was a sign, it'll either be Aries or Taurus because they don't play around. You know, Tauruses are loyal, so they'll do anything to prove how loyal they are, even if it means fighting. So, it is what it is. Sex. Now, I'm, I'm going to try to not dive so deep because of your age, <laughs> but I'm going to keep it real with you. Tauruses are very sensual people. They're sensuous, very, very sensuous. They are attracted to senses, like taste touch um eyesight um hearing things like that taste did i say taste whatever you you know what i'm trying to say so they don't really not saying they don't like to go to the extremes it's just the person has to work you into that because tauruses are like i said they're sensuous and they're they're you know, they're just not into that type of stuff. They can be, but that your partner has to work you into that. But you are an Aquarius. In sun sign, it shows throughout all these planets. So, you are a sun, you know, your sun is Aquarius. So, you could be into that, all that stuff. But it takes the right partner, okay? Because when it comes to love, Venus is what we want. And Mars is how we get it. So, Venus-wise, you probably don't know exactly what you want but it, it's whatever catches your eye at that moment mars is how you get it so you're gonna get it it may take time but you're gonna you're gonna get that person whoever it is that you want at that time you're going to get that person okay so your ascendant is scorpio your ascendant sign is how you express yourself so that's a water sign it's feminine it's it's a fixed sign and it's polar opposites taurus i'm looking at my notes here and Scorpio is the only planet that's ruled by two. Wait, Scorpio is the only sign. Sorry, Scorpio is the only sign that's ruled by two planets, which is Mars and Pluto. And Mars, like I said, it's for aggression and sex and work, work ethic and stuff like that. While Pluto is the planet of darkness, which is why Scorpio gets the reputation that they get. Um, so Scorpio does have a very interesting reputation. The reputation that oh. You know they're crazy and you know they, they could be sex addicts and all that stuff but that's not the case Scorpio has a big thing with trust because the a Scorpio's biggest fear is betrayal so for you I would say you probably don't let on a lot when you meet people until you actually trust them not even when you if you know them it's trust you gotta trust them and you gotta trust yourself so you probably go with your gut feeling a lot you probably you know if you if, if you're in a bad situation and doesn't feel right you're leaving you're not going to stay there you know so i want to talk about your um masculine and feminine if you want me to dive deeper into this stuff just let me know and i'll do it sorry again i was saying if you want me to dive deeper into ascendant signs and all that just let me know and I'll do another video talking about it. Um, but I was just saying, you know, Scorpios, they, I want to say too, I want to say too, Scorpios, they, um, they're good people as long as you don't double cross them. And if a Scorpio feels double crossed, they're going to, they're going to, you know, revenge. They believe in revenge. So you probably have some petty moments when you probably got somebody in trouble because they did something to you or things like that probably you talk bad about somebody not saying you did it but you probably did something like that <laughs> probably if you didn't good for you good for you if you didn't but most scorpios do stuff like that or if you have scorpio in your chart somewhere you do stuff like that um so i want to talk about your masculine and feminine energy your masculine and feminine is balanced so masculine energy means physical and feminine energy means mental and emotional your balance. That's great. That's great. You're
you're the second person that I've done a reading for and the energies are balanced. You're the second person. Which means you know when to do, how to act in certain situations. You don't mind being physical if you have to be or active if you have to be. But you don't mind sitting down. You don't mind being into the arts. You don't, you don't mind, you know. You probably have moments when you're aggressive. You probably have moments when you're assertive. And you probably have moments that you're passive. You just know how to act in every situation. And you're able to see both points of view. So you're probably the mediator of your friends. Like people probably come to you for advice and things like that. You have everything in check. You have everything in order. Your emotions, you got that in check. And if you are too emotional, you know where you, where, where you went wrong and you know how to fix it. It's just, it's that simple. I don't really have much to say because you're, you're fine the way you are. So, I hope this answers your question, Alexis. If you want me to do um, more as far as I talk about, talk about Saturn and Jupiter and, and all that, um, just let me do my research on them and then I will come back and explain that to you. Um, I may even just, for you only, even though I'm about to start charging, I may do yours for free. So, don't trip and don't worry about it, you know, but I'll definitely do that f for you for free. Only you, though. Only you. So, just let me let me learn that first, okay? And then your north node, south node, I got that, okay? So, just, just let me know. Um, hope this resonates for you, for you as far as your sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars and Ascendant, and also your masculine and feminine. I hope this resonates with you. Um, if anybody else wants birth chart readings, this is the final week. I'm accepting them for free. So if you hit me up and I film them next week, you do not have to pay for it. But next week, if you hit me up, I'm not playing. Okay. Um, but I'm going to have a video talking about prices soon. But anyway, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye. Subscribe. We try and get to 100. Subscribe. Thank you.